Okay, so this is just a quick uh, run through of what I've been, uh, I guess where I'm at right now. Um, I did make some progress last night, so I'm very excited about it. I think at this point, the uh, long story short is these two cards are not, they're not gen locked together. There's the, the sync signal is not somehow, something's just not lining up and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So um, that's the output video let's see here so go to workbench uh, something else I learned too is you can actually you need to run the time base corrector software uh, before you open the par software so par. I'm not gonna do the test this time but just to kind of verify this is the hard drive this is a 320 gigabyte SATA drive hooked up to an IDE to SATA adapter which is running into the par and I, all signs seem to indicate that it's working just fine um, so let's see what happens here. Okay, so it takes a second to boot up as it reads everything and such, but you'll see my various recordings in a second. Okay, so we're, we're in now. So this, this output right here is coming directly from the PAR, okay? And what we've got here is, if I hit here, click that, and I play, you can kind of see it's looping. It's a very short clip. It's only like six frames or something. So then I got this one here, test two. But you'll see, even though it looks like noise, it's it's looping noise. You know, it's like I can stop it, I can advance through a frame, and each frame is changing. So so that's you know, so it's it's just I'm just sitting at a bag of signal at this point. And I need to figure out how to fix that. So um, test three. Again, you can see, same thing. I think I had one that actually had some footage from Outlander. Um, yeah, that's right. Yeah, this output right here. See that you can, I know it looks wonky, but that's, that's basically what's going on. That's the picture. The signal is coming in through the time-based corrector into the PAR but when the par plays it back, you know, and whatever it's capturing, it's getting this sort of, you know, that, you know, that, that tearing you've seen. If you've ever seen two unsynced video signals cross each other uh, in a mix without a, without time-based correction, they kind of start doing this weird looping, warping thing. And that's exactly what this is right here. That kind of, you see those little black bars and stuff. So, so anyway, I'm definitely getting close. I just have to figure out how to get these two cards properly synchronized. And... There's a whole mess of BNC cables in the back that um, I'm probably doing something wrong. It'd be very, very easy for me to get my wires crossed. So, um, or it may be even some sort of setting inside the time-based correction software. Here, pull this up. So there's a whole lot of stuff going on here. I have no idea what really most of this is doing or what it affects yet. So um, it could be as simple as some sort of, you know, sync setting. So we'll see. But anyway, so thanks for watching. All right, bye.